Hello everybody! So, the majority of this video that you are about to watch, I actually filmed months ago. This craft was actually meant to be my Disney College program roommate gift. And at the time, I guess I was so busy with packing and getting ready to move to Florida that I never got around to posting this video. And so I decided what better time to post a craft video than during a pandemic when people are bored at home. But enough about that, let's get to this Minnie Mouse DIY picture frame. So the first thing you're gonna need is a black frame. Now, I'm not exactly sure where this one came from, but I know you can find them at Dollar Tree or any craft store, and I will also add links in the description for all these supplies as well. Now, the next thing you wanna get is a pencil. Now, it doesn't really matter the writing side of the pencil. What you wanna focus on is the eraser. You wanna make sure it's untouched and circular. Next is the paint. This is the exact paint that I used for this. However, I'm sure any white paint would really work. You're also gonna need a ruler. Now this is the closest thing in my house that I could find to one, but really any old ruler will do. You're also gonna need scissors, and any old scissors will do. It's only a quick little snip. Now this is the exact ribbon that I used, but again, I will have links in the description, but as long as you find a ribbon that is thin, red, with white polka dots, you will have the same look to your frame. Finally, you need a hot glue gun. Now, I do understand not everyone has one of these, and you have kids, so you can also use just regular glue. You really just need a little dab of whatever glue you have. So now that you have everything that you need, it's time to set up. So the first things first, gotta set down some newspaper, paper, whatever you have, just to make sure you don't get paint everywhere. Once you are done setting up, you just need to grab any kind of small container you have that you can put paint in or on, and you really don't need that much paint, so just put a little bit. Next, you're gonna grab your pencil and dip the eraser side into the paint, then bring it to your frame and slightly dab, making a little circle. Now, don't worry if you have little rings or the circles aren't coming out like you want them to in the very beginning. You can do a second coat later, so don't worry about that right away. But take the time putting the circles where you want on your frame. And if your frame is thick like this one, be sure to also dot the sides of the frame. It gives it a really cool effect once it's finished. Once you are finished adding all the dots that you like to your frame, it's the perfect time to make the bow. Now I'm not gonna lie, I am not the brains behind this entire project. It's actually my mom, so shout out to her. She came up with this entire project and she's also the master at making these bows, but I'm gonna try my best to show you. So grab that ruler and measure out 10 and a half inches. Once you have that, just snip, snip, snip and you have the perfect size ribbon to make the perfect size bow. Now this is probably the hardest part. What you wanna do is loop the ribbon around like this. Then you're gonna wanna wrap it around your thumb all the way around. Then just twist the ribbon, making sure it is the right direction. And you're gonna pull it right through where your thumb was. And once you have it through there, you just gotta pull until it's nice and tight. And from there, you can adjust it to the right size that you want. It took me about five tries to get this right, but luckily, since you're waiting for your frame to dry anyway, you have plenty of time to get the perfect bow. So once you're done making your ribbons, it's probably a good time to start adding and fixing the dots that you have on your frame. So, you know, just dip your pencil in and make sure those circles are just the way you want them. And from there, you wait and wait again. Now once your paint has dried, you can grab that hot glue gun, or whatever type of glue you have, and just make a tiny little dab on the back of your bow. 
Once you have that, you're gonna quickly but carefully place your bow on wherever you want it. I think it looks the cutest on the corners, so that is where I put it. And you're gonna gently press down and wait for that to dry as well. And finally, while you wait for that glue to dry, it's time to prepare for the most important part of your frame, which is what you'll be putting inside of it. Now again, the original frames my mom and I made were made as gifts for my friends and roommates on my Disney College program. So my mom, who is awesome, made and printed out these cute little papers that we put inside. So if you're making these frames as gifts, that's always a good idea. But if you're just making this frame for fun and you just want it in your house, then just pick your favorite photo and put it inside. And there you have it. You have made your very own Minnie Mouse inspired picture frame. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like it, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Also, starting next week, I'm gonna be starting a new series on my channel called Tiki T10. In this series that I'm gonna be posting every Tuesday from now on, it's gonna be lists of 10 every week, cool things about Disney, little known facts, cool stuff like that. So that'll be starting next week. And then my random videos like this one that are just random Disney things I do will also be um, scattered along with the Tiki T10 videos. So be sure to subscribe so you don't miss that and also hit the bell notification. That way you never miss a Tiki T10 and as well as my other videos like this one. But as always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye!